just wanted to put a little disclaimer at the beginning of this video just to say that all this footage was filmed before uh, the recent events that have been going on in the UK around social distancing uh, rules etc. So hope you're staying safe, hope you're looking after your loved ones and your family members. Um, yeah, take care. Morning everyone, today we're off to the KTM motocross experience. It's a gorgeous day and um, I am extremely excited so hopefully I can film some good footage of this for you uh, and show you what it's like. It's uh, something I had planned for a while last year and uh, we're just coming out of the winter now and I've not been able to ride my road bike yet so this is hopefully something that I'm going to be able to do that wasn't weather permitting that's going to get me back into uh, the swing of things for the upcoming motorbike season so I'm very, very much looking forward to this so let's go. You don't forget your first love We were young and wild, we were up all night You don't forget that summer sun, 2009 We were feeling high And I got drunk for the first time I thought I was cool I thought I looked smooth in your eyes And tried to make a move So damn high, we could touch the sky Drunk on love, drunk on your lips A feeling I will forever miss And I got drunk for the first time I thought I was cool I thought I looked smooth in your eyes And tried to make a move It was so Here we are, the KTM motocross experience. This is the fleet of dirt bikes that we're all using today. This is the track, which looks uh, a little bit menacing. I've never done anything like this before, so uh, I would be lying if I said I wasn't shitting myself a little bit. That being said, it looks like it's gonna be a shit ton of fun. So yeah, I'm hopefully gonna strap the, ca uh, the, ha the camera to the helmet uh, and get some decent footage of this. Um, guys here are all pretty cool, there's no problem with me filming or anything, so um, yeah, really looking forward to it. Uh, some of these jumps look pretty <laughs> look pretty hairy actually, apparently they're going to spray water on some of the track as well, so um, yeah, that should be interesting. So, yeah, sit tight. Forward, look down, there should be no seat, less of an inch, that puts your body in the correct position. You can relax, take the tension out your shoulders, drop your elbows, and then your first job is to get used to your, your throttle. I recommend, unless you know what you're doing, you just ride with the top of your hand facing straight up to the sky. That gives you the safe range of throttle. As we go through the day, we had a guy yesterday completely loop out and go off the back and hurt his back because he was riding too far back and gassing it. You're gone. Okay? You're gone. Now we, obviously we do appreciate there are accidents. We don't suffer idiots who don't listen. You know what I mean? I can't afford people to just ride around this garbage bin right oh, I'm doing what I want to do. No, you're not. You have to do as you're told, or I, I can't have it. You're going to get hurt. So, warm up session. 
four laps just sort of going around in a loop to get the basics. Yeah, dude, you can strap this off me. Yeah, spot on, well done. Thank you. Jump on that first of all. Don't bother firing them up yet. Stand away first and then you can jump on. session and didn't say a damn word. That is super hard. Way harder than I thought it would be. I thought I'd got 20 years worth of road riding experience and that'd be easy. The back end of it is all over the place. It's really strange. It's so much fun though but the throttle is really hard to control. Anyway, sorry I didn't say anything. But, um, hope they can try and speak in a minute. So I'm just on a break in between sessions. I'm not sure what the audio was like that I'm capturing, so sorry about that. I might have to do some uh, overlay commentary on this. Um, it's not my usual helmet mic setup and everything, so... Um, oh my God, so much fun. It's absolutely hilarious, but Jesus, it is hard. You, the front end is, co is constantly trying to wash out. The arse end is constantly spinning up. You, you're constantly sort of wrestling the bike for grip. And it's really strange coming from a road bike where that's you want the absolute opposite. But this, you're sort of having to turn it on the back end. You're sort of having to spin it round to get it to turn and use the throttle to adjust it. And yeah, it's, uh, it's tough, but it's so much fun. I am knackered though. I've done two full sessions now. So the day that I realized my helmet mic wasn't working so a bit of a fail there but never mind um look the footage speaks for itself really you're just the other bits were just me screaming and shouting how much my ghoulies were hurting every time I went over a jump in the, <laughs> the tank um it, it was an amazing day it, it took me this was the first time I'd ever done motocross so um it took me at least until the end of the day to, to really just figure out how to ride the thing properly and learn out how to even turn it properly some of the hairpins and the technique to get around the hairpins is really unusual for a road bike rider you know you've got to go really sort of slow in and wide round it and then gas it out and spin the back end up to tighten the turn um and some of the skills that you learn i can really see how they could be applicable to riding a road bike certainly getting you out of trouble on a road bike and i can really see why some of the top riders in the world do moto cross in their spare time um yeah the, uh, it was a great day well run the bikes were brilliant they were brand new and um, extremely well organized great laugh really enjoyed it and i would highly highly recommend it the ktm experience i'll link them in the description um so yeah i'll uh, i'll let the rest of the video play there's some really cool footage and if you stick around to the end there's some extra bonus
just grabbing some dinner at my um, Spider-Man lunchbox. Don't judge me. Well, I managed to um, fall off in that session. I knew it was coming, I could feel it brewing. It's just strange, it's really hard to turn it in. The front end just washes and washes and then you put a bit more power on to correct it and then you run wide. It's really difficult. I'm just trying to figure it out, but uh, yeah, no uh, no injuries or breakages of the bike, just uh, a bit embarrassing really, but um, I was always gonna fall off at some point or other. But oh my God, so much fun. I can't keep saying it, but it is just brilliant. Um, highly recommend it to anyone. So yeah, it's so tiring though, I'm absolutely knackered. Um, but yeah, we've got uh, got some more sessions this afternoon, so uh, hopefully try and bring you some different footage. Hope you enjoy it. I'm just on the afternoon break now. I'm starting to get pretty tired. The um, there's two sorts of bikes here. They've got an uh, enduro version of the KTM, which is the X EXF, I think it is, uh, which is you can make road legal. And they've also got the motocross version, the EXC. And the, to be honest with you, probably because I'm a bit shit, the um, enduro version is way nicer to ride. It's got a much smoother throttle. The motocross one is extremely on off aggressive throttle um uh which i guess if you're any good probably better but i really like the enduro one <laughs> pretty nice i'm getting faster uh it's just a confidence thing you need to be comfortable with the bike moving around underneath you and you need to be comfortable steering it particularly out that top hairpin up there that you might be able to see the guys going around now you need to be comfortable steering it out of there using the power and sliding it around which for a road bike rider an average road bike rider is really, really difficult and, and uh, sort of counterintuitive. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, but it's such a good laugh. I'd recommend this to anybody. Um, the KTMExperience.co.uk. Uh, that's their website over there. I'll leave a link to them in the description uh, of the video. But um, I think this was 185 quid for a full day. Uh, and it's worth every penny. Such a good laugh. Um, yeah, really enjoying it. Uh, definitely going to come again. And it's really helped me uh, understand a bit more about enduro bikes because I'm thinking you need a, a 350 or a 450. These are 250 enduro bikes and they are rapid. Absolutely rapid. Um, so, yeah, uh, all around great experience. Really enjoyed it and uh, thoroughly recommended. Got another session or two. Um, I'll try and get a bit more footage. Hopefully, I'll not bin it again. Right, that's recording. First, dropping your GoPro on soft sand or, or you ready? pulling in the water, yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice one, brother. Bonus footage for you now. I was originally going to put this on the end of the uh, video as my sort of improvements throughout the day, but I'm too honest and I couldn't do that. And plus, you'd have all seen through it. <laughs> what actually happened was I gave the GoPro to a professional who was one of the instructors there to do a lap or two for me so I could show you guys uh, how motocross on this circuit should really be done. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this because it's pretty cool.
absolutely fantastic day, completely out of my comfort zone. Never done that before. I had a bit of a mess about on a 125 when I was about 20 years ago, maybe. Um, but that was a completely different kind of motorbike riding than I do. And the skills that you learn there, the different skills that you learn, I can definitely see how you uh, cross that over into normal road bike riding. Um, There's something I need to practice that and I want to do a lot more of enduro motocross riding because that was so much fun. Um, that was just like literally the first time I've ever done it, so very much uh, baby steps and taking it as a beginner. Um, and as you should actually, because I could see how you could really hurt yourself really quickly. Um, but it was so much fun and um, highly recommend it. Uh, absolutely awesome day. Uh, so I'd be really appreciative if you could like the video and subscribe. Uh, hit the notification bell if you want to get notified when I release new videos. All sorts of motorbike content coming up soon. Uh, track days, um, general faffing about, all sorts. Um, so yeah, thanks very much. See you soon. I'm seeing shimmers in this long, misty dream.